What's good, family? Happy Sunday, everybody. Happy Valentine's Day, tribe. We are back with day three of Saints and Sinners Take Over Judgment Day. Today, we're going to be talking to Kristen Keys. So we'll be waiting on him to join us shortly. For those of you who do not know, my name is Sika. I am the director of the Black Lunch Break, as well as Happy Healthy Black and Black With No Chaser Radio. Hopefully, y'all are following all of those platforms that we have going on. What's up? Happy Love Day, everybody joining the room. What's good, bro? Tell Open Tabs, shout out to them and the beautiful things that they're doing today. I see y'all out there on the East Coast just living it up. Beautiful display, beautiful event. Shout out to Umar and my co-host, Cirillo. He's up in the building right now. So we're just waiting on Christian Keys to join the building. And if you aren't following me, you can follow me, Sika Noxolo, on Instagram and Facebook. So I hope everybody is having a lovely love day. Been chill here on the East Coast. I'm in Atlanta and it's been a rainy but dope day. Dope, chill, vibed out day. Where y'all at? Leave it in the comments where you hollering at. What's up, sis? I see you in here. You said you can't hear me? Interesting. Hold on. No one can hear me, hear me at all. You can't hear me. Okay, perfect, perfect. Okay. Maybe she, maybe your maybe your volume is down, darling. Turn your volume up. We can hear you. Oh, I'm glad you can hear me. Hear me. We good. can hear you. We can hear you. How, how you doing? How you feeling? I'm good. How are you? Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. Happy Love Day. What are you doing for Valentine's Day? Uh, press for Saints and Sinners movie. <laughs> Left and, and right. And I see your page me. rolling. Hopefully going to uh, get a hike in after this interview before my next one. But, um, yeah, just enjoying the day, enjoying the blessing of having some good work come out. And, um, and yeah, enjoying, enjoying my Sunday. That's my recharge day. It's your recharge day. I see that you usually do, like, an IG Live on Sundays anyway. So this is, like, your day, right? Yeah, and I'm still going to do it. I got to do it earlier so that way um, – that way I don't interfere with the, you know, the showing of Judgment Day, the Saints and Sinners movie. But so I'm going to have to do it prior like 5 to 6 p.m. PST, which is 8 to 9 p.m. East Coast time. So that way, once 9 hits, you know. Be ready folks, for the movie. Yeah, folks can pull on up and then I can live tweet during the commercials and all of that. And, <laughs> and, and you know, stay engaged and respond to stuff. And just, I enjoy this, man. It's a blessing to be on a show for five seasons. It's a blessing to be it working is. in the pandemic. And it's a blessing to be working with so many amazing and talented black folks on this show, man. Saints and Sinners is crazy and it's been a blessing. It is. So let's talk a little bit about Levi. Levi Why dropped not? off the scene and then yeah. he came back. So tell me, what was the feeling when you read that in the script? Like, okay, y'all gonna kill me off, but then y'all go, y'all gonna bring me back. How did you feel about that? Uh it was um I knew actually before, um, probably before everybody else, because I I booked in contempt on BET. It was a legal drama, and you can't be a lead on both shows. So okay, they kind of sort of had to, you know, figure that out. Kill my character off, basically almost, um, and you know, kind of shoot me and leave some speculation that I'm gone. And so I went and did In Contempt, and then, you know, they were like, hey, you know, you're still up for, you know, doing some some episodes and, and you know, bringing the character back. I was like, why not? I, you know, I love the show. Of course. It was a blessing to me, and the fans love it, and, and our, you know, our social media family loves it. So I was like, why not? Threaten me with a good time. I'll pull up. Let's get it. <laughs> so uh, so we did, and 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 they brought me back. So it's, it's – um, it's a good thing. I mean, it, what's not to love working with Mrs. Vanessa Bell Calloway? I know, right? You know, the whole cast. Um, 
the writers, the directors, the production team over there. So it's it's been a blessing. And, and, and we already got the movie tonight sets up season five, which we already shot. So that which comes is, out April 11th. That is so dope. It's dope that y'all are doing this movie like this. When I was talking to Carly, I mentioned it. Like, it makes us thirsty for season yeah, five. We got to give sure. And we want something. I want to see what the hell is going on. Because, like, especially shooting, filming during a pandemic, I don't, if you're not filming that day, you can't go to set. You're not supposed to because of safety protocol. Okay. So I'm not able to go see what they shoot and see what other characters are up to because you know Rex's character, Rex is up to some shady stuff. Right. Vanessa Bill Calloway's character is up to some shady stuff. <laughs> Donna Bisco, who plays Lady Bird, she always up to some shady stuff. Um, Paige so, coming back. Yeah, Paige and just every, and Paige shot me. Kick her whole ass. <laughs> Kick her whole ass at some point. But um, I, I don't, matter of fact, it, it, it takes a while. I don't even remember where exactly or when I I, I recognize that. Or, or, But it's like way down the line. So just being around, you know, those characters being around each other um, and him not knowing is really dope. It's it's really, you know, imagine shooting somebody and then and, and you got to be around this cat all the time. It's like, right. you know? damn, does he know? <laughs> So it's, it's really cool, man. They really wrote it well, um, and the cast is great, and just everybody, man. Just it was great getting back in that, you know, getting back in there with everybody and just creating. It was just really dope. I love it. So let's compare you, Christian, to Levi. What's the What's the difference between the two? Uh, let me see. Um, I'm not as gullible. Um, I would have, I would have picked up on like in the early season. That's a nice word, up. gullible. Yeah, I, I, I yeah, uh-uh. uh, uh, <laughs> it's a clear day, Sonny. Uh, let the plane land, Sonny, land. It's a clear day. I would have picked up on the fact that Christy was messing around with somebody else. I would have, my intuition and my energy. Um, I'm an, I'm an energy person. I'm an empath, so I feel things more in like in real life, but on a, on a heavy level. Um, <clears throat> I would have known that she was messing with Miles. I would have known that baby wasn't mine and that she was trying to finesse me. I would have, I would have picked streets. that up. So just <laughs> stuff like that. Um, and, and he, you know, Levi was the only saint pretty much the first season. Uh, let's just say that he's probably not a saint no more, um, at this point. And yeah, I, I just think the the wear and tear, you know, Rex pressuring him, the the weight of you know running the church and owning the church, the weight of bad business deals, and trying to you know stay active and and be a, a good father. I think all of that has kind of made him turn a little bit. So I look forward to seeing where he goes in in this in this world in Cyprus. I like that. So what are your mental preparations when you're getting ready to get into the role of Levi? Or is it uh, just easy? Well, at this point, you five seasons in, you know the character. So, um, but I also want him to always be changing and always be evolving. Uh, I think that's important because you know the viewer, the person who gives us their hour or two hours, two hours for the movie or the hour for the show, we got to earn that. I feel like you know, and it's a privilege for them to right. dedicate. You know, hey, this is a, you know, it's my favorite show. We got to earn that designation. And and I think that's important as a content creator and as an actor in front of the camera. So I want to do my work and make sure I make some bold choices, um, make sure that I, I'm, uh, I'm specific with my intention and everything is on purpose and that I appreciate this for the blessing that it is. Because, again, you know, all the folks tuning in, the folks that are going to tune in tonight and watch it or, you know, or DVR and watch it later or um, watch it, you know, another time those folks are a part of the reason I have a job on this show. So I want to make sure that I, I respect that and, and I appreciate that. And I think, you know, because I do consistently, I think that's one of the reasons I end up consistently working. I think that's why big fella keeps, you know, sprinkling the sprinkling the blessings down. <laughs> and, um, and yeah, so that, that formula works for me. That's, that's my preparation. Remembering why I'm here, remembering that I get to call this, a job so you know whether it's hour 10 or hour 16 of the day you know you get a little tired you know but True. yeah i remind myself like yeah 
there's a hundred thousand black actors who would love to be in your spot right now. Man up, handle it, and keep it moving. I love that you're appreciating the craft, and we appreciate what you are building for us. It's a pleasure to be able to see this the show continue to five seasons. I believe y'all are gonna get probably ten. Y'all gonna get that it. for I sure. I, I feel like they. I, I feel like they should go until. <clears throat> like don't excuse me don't I don't think we should go like too long um, <laughs> like some shows will go too long they'll go True. you know eight nine ten seasons when you could have wrapped it up nicely in seven seven or eight and I say you know we go seven eight nine seasons and then end it with a big movie you know a, a second movie or something like that but that's just you know me um, you know throwing stuff out there that's that's nothing official but it, it's a blessing and it's a privilege and like i said i mean to get to work with cats that you know um i think my first thing that i saw miss vanessa bell calloway was coming to america and you know to, to get, yeah and, and once and what's crazy is she still looks amazing like she did back then um she doesn't age and she is wow. she's an open book she is a class act and to work with somebody that's got that kind of a resume and that kind of a legacy um, and Clifton Powell and, and Donna Bisco um, and, and and just the rest of the cast. But those are probably three of my favorite people to study and watch because their choices when they do a scene, they're so specific and so intentional. And I think that's what that it, it's the purpose. They don't do anything accidentally. It's the own purpose for me. And I love watching <laughs> work because it's like, you know, the they won't let a, a one word go without some intention behind it. Every single thing matters, and you watch them be like, "Oh, you better kill this scene." <laughs> and I sometimes I forget that I'm in the scene, so I gotta because you're I, cheering you know, on the side. I know I'm it's I'm legend. The work, but I'm also like, "Damn, podcast <laughs> is cold." And then it's also a reminder, like, "Hey, when it's my turn, you know, make sure that I show out too. Make sure I'm in here kicking ass too." Hey. But, but you know, just just the blessing of working with some people that continue to inspire you, and um, and that's and that's more than enough. It's it's more than enough. Some of these episodes feel like you watch them work in scenes, and it feels like it's a class. It feels like you owe them money after mm. you watch them give a monologue or something. You're like, damn, <laughs> what's your cash app? So. <laughs> I'm here for it. It's, it's it's a blessing, you know. It's it's, yeah. It's just what's going on, Canada. Somebody just said what's up from Canada. Um, what's good, Canada? Yeah. So Vanessa basically plays two roles, like she's behind the scenes and on the scenes. How yeah. is soaking that in? She'll 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 pop up and, and direct an episode or two. You know what I'm saying? And she's and you got to remember, you know, her legacy in this. So she. She knows the she knows both sides of the world, both sides of the camera. Like I, I want to direct at some point, but um, it'll be a minute. I feel like I, I have more to learn. But but she's already at that space, and I remember the episode. Um, I will. I was in one of the episodes that she directed, and she was just, you know, just. But you got to remember, look at her resume. If you pull Smooth up her IMDb, yes. you better have 10, 10 good minutes. For you, real, you're gonna be doing like this for a minute. <laughs> Cause she got, you know, she got credit, so she definitely does. And her, her wisdom and her stories are appreciated too. I love talking to her about some of her experiences because they're so rich in, in, in authenticity and in just moments that she's been able to experience in this game. I love that. It's, it's, it's just a stellar cast all over. I've spoken to Carly. I've spoken to Trey. We've spoken to Clifton, and we've spoken to Vanessa. So you're rounding it out for the takeover over here at Black With No Chaser. So it's definitely been a pleasure. But before we get out of here, I want to ask you one last question. And that All right. is, when you hear the words Black With No Chaser, what comes to mind? Unapologetically Black. Uh, black, capital A, capital F. Um I think what we all strive to to be and what, what we're going to be regardless, but Sometimes it does offend others. Um, and, and that's more of a reflection of, of broken pieces of them than it is us. They should never, it, it should never be a threat for us to have pride in who we are. Um, I'm a, a black man with a black son in a country that doesn't love my blackness. And 
you know, um, and being a little higher on the on the on the melanin spectrum, you know, sometimes I ain't black enough for some of us. That's another conversation for another day. But sure. I'm, I'm I'm I was born in Detroit, Michigan. I'm from Flint, Michigan, and I'm 6'3", 215 pounds. If I'm not careful at every traffic stop, I can be a hashtag. So I'm black AF all day. Um, I'm black with no chaser, and I'm not cock blazing or blocking. <laughs> Whatever, whatever Tiger called himself back in the day, I'm not. I'm a black man. Yes, my my father's from Thomasville, Alabama. Uh, my mother's Native American and French, but I am a full fledged black man. I love us. I I, I love black women. Hennessy, um, yeah, black with no chaser. That's nice to meet you. I'm, I'm black with no chaser. I love it. I love it. Everybody, make sure you tune in tonight. Bounce TV. Judgment Day, Saints and Sinners, the movie, getting us prepared for season five. We have Christian Keys joining us today. We thank you so much for your time. Happy Valentine's Day. And we'll see you on the screens tonight. Love y'all. Pull up. Um, I, am still, I'm, I am still doing that, my live. It'll be at 5 p.m. PST. So that way we can be off by 6 p.m. PST, which is 9 p.m. East Coast time when saints kicks off because i don't want to interfere with that but um yeah see y'all later we on live tweet and you know i'll try to keep up with the comments in between and um and i hope y'all enjoy judgment day and and you don't want to miss it because it's the perfect setup for season five which is out of order i think <laughs> season five most of the saints are gone they should just call season five sinners because <laughs> it's just, it's just, it's incredible. It's gritty. It's drama filled. It's wonderful, and and you 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 gonna love it. That and whenever you're ready to continue that conversation, as you said, is another. Conversation. Oh, we gonna have it. We gonna let's have it. We let's got the it. black lunch break. Let's have it. Yeah, I'm ready listen, for you. Don't threaten me with a good time. I'll pull oh, up. we gonna have. That. I just threaten you. I need okay. you to accept it. Let's do I'm it. Gonna, I'm gonna pull up, and we are gonna have that conversation. I. I I promise you, as a as a foster kid growing up in in Detroit, Pontiac, and mostly Flint, um, yeah, it was that was probably the toughest thing for me to take uh, was that you know that not only do I get it from you know I'm the N word from some of these white kids in these group homes and detention centers, but from some of my own folk, you know, you're not black enough. And after a while, you know, you grow up and you're like, I don't I don't question that about me at all but you know for some people you know you're 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 not and that is a whole other conversation colorism is a real thing it is um, i think unfortunately <clears throat> our darker skinned brothers and sisters have had it way worse in this country um for a really really long time and i think we're finally starting to get around to celebrating every shade all shades i don't care if you're like you be chocolate chocolate double triple chocolate <laughs> we're finally starting to celebrate that because there's beauty in that there's power in that there's royalty in that and but I, I think it should be more so we, we should be celebrating you know all that and all of us there shouldn't be a you know ah that old beige mom over there you know no it's, it's, it's not that i'm still a black man i could still die just like you just because my, the hair te my hair texture is a little different. Um, and you, know, you know, our tagline at Black With No Chaser is your blackness is safe here. And exactly. we are very intentional about being inclusive about all blackness because yeah. there's and too many and I'm of the same. us. When I write shows and create shows, when we were casting the show that, the, um, that I, I wrote, sold, and that we shot last year that's coming out in May, that I can't say, I can't say the name of it yet, but my first, one of my first conversations was... Um, one, I want the lead to be chocolate. I want a strong, amazing black woman that just that, that's unapologetic and, and, and a badass. And and I wanted to make sure that we, you know, we cover the entire spectrum of of all the browns, all the delicious yes. browns, all the chocolates, all the the hella chocolate, <laughs> pretty chocolate, you know, uh, so, somewhat chocolate, chocolate-ish, brown skin. <laughs> You know, uh, chocolate ish, uh, beige, uh, you know, uh, taupe, toasted almond, dark white. I want all, I love it. I the rainbows all, of chocolate, yes, hella, I want hella chocolate. I want everything, I want every 
I want I want powerful characters, you know, not just like we gotta fix some things that, that they do all that they used to do. Um, we gotta start making some of our, our Charlton brothers and sisters the attorneys and the CEOs and not always make them the, the felon or thug number one or thug number two. As a content creator, we can start changing those things and we can that's a conversation we can have and we can make them the CEO. Make me the prisoner. I will make let me rob the bank. I will bring get the get out. I'm the I would love to go in and rob a bank. Shit, man. Listen, but real talk, we have to start Set it out. that dynamic. We got to start changing that dynamic to where we're not always showing our dark skin and brown skin black folks as the felon or or as the negative. Let you know we got to start spinning that around and changing that conversation with with us content creators, with us show writers and, and us executive producers and producers and so forth and, and things like that. So it's a whole conversation to be had. And I think we're starting to make some progress. Um, and I think we, you know, we still, I think we still can, but I'm absolutely doing my part. And I, I and I am uh, black with no chaser. I am unapologetically black AF. And um, yeah, and, and I love y'all platform and I appreciate y'all having me. So we're going to have that conversation. We go we have, have it. That conversation. I'm gonna hold you to that. Yeah, it's got, it's got to. We gotta stop. We got, you know, we have to stop that. We, we gotta like. I love seeing Black Panther because it was so much so black. melanin in there. Oh, and yes. then and then the, the the various colors of the wardrobe. My favorite scene, I think, was when they were and and on the and, mountains. Yeah, when they were on the mountain. And, yes. and the different tribes and the different colors and. And, and and the different colors that they wore and represented and yeah, that shit just, gives you chills. It was just black as hell and beautiful. Yes. And I was like, wow. I went saw it one week and then like this is a this is an example of some of the stuff I do that I don't always publicize. Um the the next week, the second weekend that it was out, I, I took um fifteen foster kids from the Inglewood area to go see it. And Dope. Um, and it was, you know, like I said, I grew up in that. I was, I was a foster kid growing up and it was amazing. Cause like they, some of them wore costumes and, you know, and, and they were so happy to go and really, really enjoyed it. And for me, that's worth it, you know, to it see is. the smile on their face, how much fun they had, you know, for me, that's worth it. And for them to, to, to see somebody that looks like them on the big screen. And, and, and then not only that, some of them got superpowers. We got black folks with superpowers. We got a you know that woman is black right now. So you know what I'm saying? I love I love Javicia is killing that up there on, on the CW. <laughs> so it, it's a new day, but we still gotta continue to 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 change that conversation and, and to affect change in, in that way. So that way, you know, that way no section of us feels uh left out you know, the way that, that you know, black folks and, and dark skinned folks felt, you know, for years. They were, they were, yeah, it's, it's a shame. But yeah. I'm going I'm to continue to do my part. And I know y'all. You're doing a great it. job. And we appreciate you. And we support everything that you're doing, the seen and the unseen. Thank you. I appreciate it. Well, I ain't going to talk to you to death. I'm going to get something to eat and probably go hike. But, um, and then get ready for some more press and get ready for Judgment Day tonight. Well, happy hiking. Be safe out there. Wear your mask? Not really. Not 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 out there. No, I'm gonna keep it on me though. I I I'll, I'll have something, you know, so that way if somebody walk past, I can just flip it up real fast. <laughs> Be safe. We enjoy talking to you. Talk to you soon. Yes, ma'am. Talk to you soon. Thank you again. Make sure you guys check out Saints and Sinners tonight, 9 p.m. Eastern, 8 Central Time on Bounce TV. It's the movie prelude to season five that will be coming very, very soon. It's going to be launching in April. Once again, my name is Sika. I am the director of the Black Lunch Break, music and entertainment, and many other things at Black With No Chaser. We appreciate you following us. We appreciate you joining this live. Make sure you check out our website, blackwithnochaser.com, and always check out Them Hands University. Go get your merch, and we appreciate you following us. We think Black. We live black unapologetically. Happy Valentine's Day, tribe. I'm out.